So one of my favorite guitars that I've come across in the past few years is the Gretsch Richard Fortis Falcon, which I made a video about on this channel a few videos back. And that guitar got me looking a little bit more closely at the current Gretsch lineup of guitars. I've owned a few seven string guitars over the years and while they're killer instruments and I'm really into that sound, I just don't play enough seven string to kind of think natively in that seven string mindset. And more often than not, I'm just trying to avoid hitting the seven string, which can get kind of annoying after a while. But yeah, I love the sound of seven and eight string guitars and lower extended range instruments and things like that. But I think like a lot of folks out there, I'm just way more comfortable on a six string guitar. But when you try to tune a standard scale length guitar lower and lower, you can quickly run into some pretty common problems. First off, your strings will start to get all floppy, so the natural thing to do is get thicker, heavier gauge strings. But when you do that, sometimes your guitar might not sound as clear and articulate as it normally does. Things will start to get a little bit muddy sounding. The strings that you got might not fit in your current nut slots, so you have to file those wider to accommodate a larger string. The guitar might not intonate as well, and the list kind of goes on and on. So there's really kind of a limit to how far down you can tune a standard scale length guitar before things just start really not being so ideal. So that's exactly where baritone guitars come into play. This Gretsch baritone has a 29.75 inch scale length, which is a full five inches longer than a traditional Les Paul scale length. And it's on the longer side of baritone scale lengths in general. So if you're not familiar, scale length is the distance between the bridge and the nut. And that extra length means that you can tune way down without having to use super thick strings and the guitar stays in tune really well and intonates like pretty spot on. First and foremost, I love the kind of classy, vintage, modern look of this guitar. It's a versatile instrument, but I love playing heavy music on guitars that are kind of sleepers and they don't look like your typical heavy music guitar or something like that. All of the finishes that Gretsch offers on this model are pretty killer in person. This one is the jade gray metallic, but it really looks kind of more blue metallic in person to me. The fit and finish and attention to detail is also pretty impressive on this guitar. The binding, the fretwork, the way the nut is cut, all of that stuff just feels really high quality and the playability is great, especially for the price. The pickups in here are Gretsch mini humbuckers and they're definitely on the lower output side of things, but I personally tend to prefer lower output pickups. I feel like the amps that I have have so much gain on tap that a lower output pickup can kind of let the natural character of the guitar shine through a little bit more and you can get a little bit more articulation out of it that way. I feel like these pickups have kind of a unique sound to them too, which can be nice when you're looking for something just a little bit more off the beaten path of those really identifiable Strat and Les Paul and Tele sounds and things like that. Ultimately, I think one of the coolest things about a baritone guitar is that it gets you to think and write in a slightly different way. The lower tuning can make simple ideas just sound a bit more powerful, and it can be a really inspiring tool to shake things up a bit. So for 600 bucks, at least if you're in the US, for me, this guitar is kind of a no-brainer. I feel like it could warrant a much higher price tag given the quality that you get with this guitar. So if you're interested in this Gretsch baritone or any of the gear that you've seen in any of the videos on my channel, please hit the links in the video description below and it helps out this channel in a big way. Big thank you to the folks at Zounds and Gretsch once again for sending this my way to check out and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.